Welcome back to another episode of English Ed Reviews Everything, and I'm back with another G.I. Joe rev review. Uh, I want to do something else, but these seem to be very, very popular on my channel, more so than anything else. And if you're taking a nice look at this, you can see that this is, without a doubt, Cobra Island. And the thing about this is, I managed to get my hands on a Baroness with Cobra Coil, the motorcycle. Um, I'd like to say I picked it up for retail, but I did not. Finding it in retail is pretty much impossible, and I've gone on toy hunts to find it, and without success. But, enough of my woes, and let's just get right into this bit of comparison, review, just taking a look at it. So we have here the back of the box for her, her bike, and here we are. Let's just uh, get this into focus, there we are, and here we are, two Baroness Sis, Baroni, ba what's the plural for Baroness, is it Baroness Sisses? Baroni? I honestly don't know and I don't feel like googling it. So here we are with two Baronesses. Sis, 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 sis. I suppose that's appropriate considering she's a high ranking member of Cobra after all. So I have here the latest iteration of the Baroness with Cobra Coil and her accessories and I have the 50th anniversary release of the Baroness with her accessories as well. Um, I think she came with more accessories than this. I she came in a two pack, the fiftieth anniversary two pack that came with Lady J, and I couldn't for the life of me def decipher which weapons were Baroness and which weapons were Lady J's. So I just took the ones that I believe were hers because there was on the Baroness was on the right side of the package, and these are the majority of the weapons that was on the right side. So I'm just gonna say these were hers. Uh. There were some weapons at the top of the Baroness 50th anniversary release, but let's just go with this for right now. So we have here the 50th anniversary release of the Baroness. She comes with, okay, I'm not very familiar with guns, but she comes with this. It's a, I want to say a submachine gun. Again, not a gun enthusiast, I really don't know. Let's put this back. She comes with another little machine light -like pistol that comes with a very large magazine and a foregrip, which is pretty cool. I, I do like this. And then she comes with a bunch of little pistols, which I don't understand why she came. Well, I can understand why she came with pistols, but I don't understand why these pistols have pegs on them when in the package there was absolutely nothing to peg these in. If you take a look at her body, you can't peg them in anywhere on her body. The, uh, the hole back here is, is too large to peg these weapons. Let's take off her stand for a moment. The hole in her back where you can stick a backpack is too large to peg these weapons in. She comes with three pistols, two of which have pegs on them. Pretty nice. And then this really, really tiny little pistol. I'm talking about. Th th this has got to be a 22. As tiny as this is, this thing has got to be a 22 easily. And she comes with this little briefcase. Let's put it back on her stand real quick. She comes with this Cobra beef briefcase, which is pretty cool stores most of these weapons here it has the cobra insignia on it Let's see if i can crack it open without shaking everything now looking inside of here there's this clearly space for four things i have no idea what they're supposed to hold uh i do have all the weapons and everything that's, that came with it, but it didn't come with anything that this is supposed to hold. Maybe, I don't know, maybe it's supposed to hold bombs from a future release. Let's close that up. She comes with a bunch of little knives. 
Don't know why she comes with so many knives. I don't remember her using knives in any of the animated series. And I think this is supposed to go to Lady J, but it was on the right side of the package, so I'm going to say it's her. It's some sort of platform with a grappling hook. Uh, I'm going to say it's supposed to elevate her to wherever. But y'all didn't come for this, but I just want to do that comparison. So let's push all this to the side. Uh, her articulation consists of the standard female articulation, which I believe is the standard male articulation as well, for the 50th anniversary set, which is she had a ball joint at the shoulder, which allowed for 360 rotation. Her arms go out that far. It can go up that far. Her head can rotate that much, which is not much. It can rotate that much. Getting out of focus here. Sorry about that. Ooh, really out of focus. Don't know why it's out of focus. Ah, there we are. Her head can rotate that much. Her legs are on ball joints also. She can kick up that far. She can kick back that far. Her legs can kick out that wide doing the splits. She has no swivel at the thigh or shin, but she does have a double joint at the knee, allowing for that. She has a joint at her ankle, which allows that. She also has a swivel at the ankle, which allows for 360 rotation. She has a minimal crunch. Let's get those arms out the way. A minimal crunch just below the bust. She has a single joint at the elbow, which allows for a 90 degree. She has a swivel in her forearm and not the wrist like the males, which allows for 360 rotation. And as you saw, I tried to manipulate the head and because of a hair, that's about as much as you're going to get. So let's put her back on her stand and get to the meat and potatoes. So we have here the latest release, the 2020 release of the Baroness with Cobra Coil and we're still out of focus. Hmm. Right, this, this is not turning out to be too good. Let's try and move her up front. There we go. Let's take her out of shot. And the 2020 release of the Baroness with Cobra Coil, her accessories comes with, let's get this out the way, her accessories comes with this cool silver and gold coiled cobra, which is a weapon. I've seen other people do reviews and it's like, oh, it's just something nice to look at. And like, no, it's actually a weapon. Like, even in their reviews of it, I'm looking at it and saying it's, it's clearly a weapon. It's some sort of laser and on the box art. It is even shown to be a firing weapon, as you can see, shooting a laser. So, the detail on this is, oh my goodness, it's remarkable. It, it really, it really is. If we could just get back and focus here. There we go. The detailing on it is just really, really nice gold highlights I don't know how to really explain it but it's a really cool accessory I like it a lot um, it has an opened hinge jaw no it's not hinge but it has an open mouth with the, the the firing nozzle sticking out through it it wraps around her hand and now let's move on to the actual Baroness as you can see, it took me a while to get her in this pose. Um, she does not cross her legs very well, surprisingly. So what we're going to do is, real quick, we're going to zoom out. And then pull back just a touch. Here we go. I'm going to remove her from her little perch. I'm going to fix her leg. I'm going to stand her up. She just broke her ankle. Let's see if we can get her looking nice for this shot. Let's just lean her up against her vehicle. There we go. She comes with quite a few accessories. Um, 
she actually comes with, I'm just going to grab this fake Cobra Commander I have for comparison to her knife. She comes with a cool little knife, dagger, not sure. She comes with this cool dagger, which is gold on the hilt, black on the handle and black on the blade. And it's very reminiscent of a fake Cobra Commander that I picked up in a previous video. I can check that out. Which is this dagger with a gold hilt. Hilt? Pommel. I meant pommel. Has a gold pommel handle and a silver blade. Now both of these blades are very, very well, well done. Even though one is fake and this is real. But they both have the Cobra head and hood sculpt which is pretty good let's see if we can get that back in the focus uh, I hate that it gets out of focus like that there we have that both of them pretty good like the 50th release of the Baroness she has glasses an all black suit with some highlights and these glasses and the face coat was just so good. So good that when I first saw it, I'm just like, oh, it's really good. But a friend of mine said it kind of looks like, and I quote, that female Dante from that game. You know, that's kind of like Devil May Cry, but with the chick, is what he said. And I had to think about it. I'm like, what are you talking about? And I'm like, oh, Bayonetta. And looking at the face coat, it does resemble Bayonetta. So, you saw her dagger, she has a sheath on the side right here. She comes with two pistols that go on her little, that have holsters that go on the back. Now as you can see, these are the exact same gun that the Duke came with, just colored slightly different just all completely gold and she comes with two of them which reminds me what movie was that was it face off it was face off i believe with john travolta and nicholas cage i believe one of them had two gold um what are those game what are they called desert eagles and also in the second resident evil movie with Mili jovich uh also two gold guns which were the desert eagles now let's just get right down to what's going on here oh i hate when that happens but this is how you know it's real let's just angle up a little bit as you can see she's very well sculpted she's black and gray with many cobra insignias which are clearly red and her articulation is standard for females from the classified line, minus the swivel in the shin. She does not have a shin swivel, but she does have the ankle tilt and the ankle rocker. She has a swivel at the thigh, which allows for 360 degree. She has a swivel in the waist, which allows for that much. I don't want to push it. She has an ab crunch, which allows that much. Because of her hair, her head can look up that far, which isn't really much. And it can look down that far, which also isn't much. She has these shoulder pads with limit, but her arms can go out that far. You can get more motion by simply rotating them. She has a single joint at the elbow. And she has the the wrist tilt in both in both of her ha hands. There you have that. She has the double joint in the knees, as you can see, which allows for so much posability. And her hair gets in the way, but she has a peg hole in the back if you wanted to put a backpack on her. But she, her hair is made of very soft rubber. 
I do like that. But the face sculpt is what's so awesome. The glasses. I haven't tried to take the glasses off. I don't think they come off. I'm not going to force it. I'm not going to find out the hard way and break it. She has a cobra head on one side. And I'm going to say there's a cobra tail on the opposite side of her shoulder. She has multiple insignias. I see one, two, three, four. She has four cobra insignias that I see. Let's take the back. Really good. Her hair is made of soft rubber, like her belt and the sheath for the blade. And now let's put her to the side for a moment. Let's just sit her down. Boom. She comes with an alternate head, which is the helmet, which is pretty good. I do like it. It's very well sculpted. It's sculpted, um, I think y'all can see it, but it's sculpted with fangs to make it look like a cobra opening mouth. Mouth. And then we have the cycle itself, or cobra coil. Now, it was hard getting this on because I decided, no, I'm just going to put it on. I'm not going to have any problems getting it on. And it was very, very difficult to peg this in. It was it was tight as heck. Comes with two assault rifles with pegs. Now, these rifles are alternate, so if you lose one, you just can't buy another one. Like, no, you have to buy a right and a left. Let's sit those down. The Cobra Cycle has two insignias right here. One and two. This is how it looks from the front. Let's back it up a little bit. There we go. It has room to have her feet sit here so they can peg into the bottom. But then it also has room here for like when she's crouched down and riding the bike like a speedster. The bike has extensive detail. These are rubberized wheels. I do like that. So it's not going to make that clackety clack sound if you if you're rolling it across something. I don't know if y'all can hear that, but there's barely any sound coming out of it. So let's take a look, see what she looks like on the bike. I'm not going to try and peg her hands into it because pegging her hands onto the actual handlebars was difficult took me forever to do it and I didn't want to break the hands even though they are rubberized I didn't want to run the risk of breaking them or ruining them and the backdrop as you may notice was what she came with what came in the package I should say which was pretty cool which uh, has an image of the Terradrome. Growing up, I didn't own one of those, but I, I, I did want one. Believe that. But I had a lot of toys growing up. I had a lot. Oh, man. But what more can I say other than the fact that this figure is beautiful? It has less articulation than the standard for women, which is funny because there's only two female um, figures out right now, and that's Scarlet and Baroness. But with the upcoming Lady J... She has more articulation, Lady J that is. Lady J apparently has double hinge at the elbow. Yeah, yeah. And she also has a um, the butterfly joints. And that's awesome. That's awesome. I'm, I'm happy they, they did that. Uh, I will be getting mine the same time everyone else gets my, theirs. I managed to actually get in and get a pre-order I went to Big Bag Toy Store to get my pre-order and thank goodness they still had plenty um, I pre-ordered both Lady J and Flint was that Flint? a hawk I honestly don't remember I just pre-ordered it because I know I believe it's Flint I just pre-ordered it because I know I needed it but zippity skippy uh, let's see if I could grab this other box there we go. And that was my look at the Baroness's the 50th anniversary release as well as the 2020 release of the Baroness with Cobra Coil. And as a 
as a surprise as to what I'm going to take a look at the next time. Uh, yeah. I'm just going to put that in the corner and you're going to love it just like that. Anyway, this has been another episode of English Ed Reviews Everything. Love, luck, and lollipops.